Hey y'all, Andrew Reed, Moss Creek Mushrooms, and today is a quick tip. It's quick tip week. I haven't done one in a little bit, so we're going to do one today. I'm guessing because of the mode, modus operandi of Samantha these days that you probably already know what this video is about because it'll be on the thumbnail. I'm looking at her. Oh, I, I don't have the camera hooked up. I can't show her. <laughs> this isn't a live stream. Dang it. Anyways... <laughs> <laughs> She's mwahing. <laughs> um, anyways, guys, uh, basically, uh, backstory, I guess, before I go into it exactly. I kind of knew about this product because I'd read Paul Stamets' book before. I just completely forgot about it. And this is why I'm so excited to have a lab technician on staff because, well, she reminded me of it. And we were having issues with our agar for a little while. And just, like... Not getting our autoclave to cook as well, one of our autoclaves to cook as well. And it ended up, like, making it to where we had to do a lot more Petri dishes, <laughs> agar dishes, to get the same amount of uh, uncontaminated ones that we needed. Very, very brief moment. I mean, we were just about to ca calibrate the autoclaves anyways. But then Cheryl, the, the new girl, says, hey, what about autoclave tape? And here it is, autoclave tape. So I guess that's what this episode is brought to you by. Link in the description below. It is an affiliate link. Autoclave tape. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's try that again. I don't know how I'm going to get it on there, but... Yeah. Okay, that's way more than we need. Okay, this is autoclave tape. It looks like masking tape. You may even be able to see from this distance, though I may already have you covered up with B-roll, that it has diagonal lines that run through it. Those diagonal lines, when they are exposed to temperatures that, you know, approximate sterilization temperatures, you're talking, they will turn black, some sort of lead carbonate blend. Once it's exposed, it will turn black. All you got to do is take you, I mean, it's just, it, it doesn't even have to be a big piece. All you need... It's like a couple of the lines to show you, and you would just place that, you know, like, let's see if I need to sterilize my computer. I'd put it, like, right there, right? And then I would cook this thing, and it would turn into black lines if it worked. And if it didn't, then that means that it did not reach those temperatures for long enough to cause sterilization. Now, if you're putting this on the outside of a bottle, this just because these lines are black does not mean that the inside is sterilized. It just means that you have at least reached sterilization temperatures in your autoclave. Doesn't mean the center of whatever you're cooking, like if you're cooking a block, doesn't mean that the center actually cooked all the way through. You would have to have a probe of some sort or even lay some of this tape in the center of the block and then dig it back out to find out if it actually reached sterilization temperatures. Now, this tape is, is it's like masking tape, but a lot more sticky. Um, but it's also very easy to remove once you need to off of your bottles. And all you do, take your little piece, you put it around, let's say, an agar flask, which is what the B-roll we've got to show you today, and you lay it across your, your uh, agar flask, then you set that in your autoclave. You do your normal cook. Um, if you think there's something wrong, maybe you do, you know, our gauges, we, we bumped them up to 20 PSI instead of the regular 15 just to, uh, because we weren't turning the tape black. Um, and once we turned it up to 20, I'll sh we'll show you on the B-roll, it comes out with the black stripes. So it's a great little product. I mean, definitely, I mean, you could just increase your cook time, but this stuff's cheap. You can get like 300 yards for like 30 bucks on Amazon. Like I said, link below. Uh, that is an affiliate link. I do get a kickback for that, so appreciate that. Um, and I will say that I'm going to let the patrons know <laughs> before I put this main video out because I have a bad habit of running people out of stock when I release a video on something. So, patrons, hurry up. Um, <laughs> get ready, set, go. Um, that's that's pretty much it on this. Like, I, I really don't have anything else. Like, this is a very quick tip. If you're worried about your sterilization practices, 
Use autoclave tape. Uh, let's go into, it will not work at pasteurization temperatures. So if you're pasteurizing, even for 12 hours or whatnot, this stuff will not change color. So it does not work for pasteurization. It only works if you're reaching sterilization temperature. So it's 250 degrees Fahrenheit. One, no, 121 Celsius. She, she was thinking I was trying to think of pasteurization temps. No, sterilization temps are 121 degrees uh, Celsius and 250 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm quite positive. She's going to double check me and I'm going to be right. This is going to be awesome. So <clears throat> anyways, I am. Yeah. <laughs> Because I looked it up before I made this video. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, not as <laughs> yeah. This is not my. This is not common knowledge for me. So, anyways, guys, that's the quick tip. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it has saved me a lot of grief. Um, Cheryl has saved me even more grief because, well, she's trained in microbiology, and I was just fooling around. So. Hey, Silver Leapers, if you're still watching my channel, you know how for like two years you kept saying, this stuff, you know, like uh, actually this stuff won't work uh, if you're just growing anything other than white rot funguses? I know. I know what I was doing would only grow that. That's what I was doing. I knew that later on I would be able to hire a lab technician. So. <laughs> I do appreciate you trying to make me a better grower, though. So, you know, don't take it. Don't take that as offense. Because I, you know, actually my, myself all the time. I do that all the time. Oh, man. Well, I'm going to have to cut this because I don't know how to end this. It's not as simple as that. You have to give people a goodbye. It's not just poop. Bye. You don't just end it. Like, I mean, you don't just be like... You know, keeps on a culture. What to go and do? That tickled you. Huh?